Well, hello everyone. I'm Jenny from Beau for You Gaming, and today we are gonna start a new story game. Uh, this is Maze, and Maze is an indie story rich puzzle comedy adventure game, uh, which I was gifted by my very, very good friend Endo from Endochick. She uh, is a fellow uh, YouTuber also, and uh, if you haven't checked out her channel, you should definitely uh, go and check it out. She has a lot of great uh, videos on her channel, and if you're in for a good laugh, uh, I do recommend checking out uh, the Banished Challenge 1 and 2 videos that she has, because that girl, when she gets stressed, uh, she's hilarious. <laughs> she really is. Uh, it is. I like uh, the last video I watched. I had tears running down my cheeks uh, from her reaction when she gets stressed. It's amazing. So yeah, I can really recommend those. Uh, but yeah, she gifted me this game a few months ago, and I thought it was about time I checked it out. It is developed and published by Finnish Line Games and was released in December of last year, so in 2016. And on Steam it says, Maze is a first-person adventure game about what happens when two scientists misinterpret a memo from the US government and create sentient corn. And that last, uh, last sentence is pretty much the least ridiculous thing about the game. And yes, that last sentence I just said is actually what it says on Steam. Uh, and of course there is a longer description, but uh, yeah, it, it sounds like it's a quite interesting game and uh, it should be funny. Uh, and I thought that would be a good idea after the last two story games that were kind of more in the um, serious or dark end of the spectrum. Uh, so let's just give it a go and see what's gonna happen here. Uh, if you'll let me. There we go. Let's see. Ah, uh, hello. That was interesting. <laughs> I was like, is the game broken? Okay. Wow, it does look quite beautiful. Hmm. I don't think there's serious blur. Well, I, I saw. I heard another YouTuber say that, uh, who has always also been playing this game, that if you play the game on Epic, then there will be like a terrible blur when you're moving. So uh, he recommended running it on high, so I did that, but it doesn't really... Because I would m diminish the blur, but I don't really feel like I'm noticing any blur at the moment. Um, okay, well, E. They may have updated it since, though. Um, what are we supposed to do? Um, can I walk into this? No. Right. So we have to follow the path, I guess. Um, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh, reminds me of old horror movies and stuff. Well, actually, this one kind of reminds me of um, oh, what's it called? Is it Science or something? The Mel Gibson old movie. Can I do anything? Not really. Happens if I click nothing. Okay. Well, see if we can get in here. Oh, we can. Click the left. 
Uh, um, yeah, that so, so. Slot for a hand, a slot for a key, and a circular slot. So I guess we need to go and find some stuff. Not too happy about having to find a hand. <laughs> Since my hand doesn't seem to work. Okay, well, there's an arrow showing us to go this way, so let's go and see if we can find something. Uh, uh huh, let's see that in the options. One looks like there's a bomb of some sort over there. Okay. I'm so gonna get lost here. Can I go this way or? Uh, no. Seems to just be a dead end, doesn't it? Yeah, right. Oh, you're freaking me out every time I touch the leaves. I'm like, ah! I'm becoming. <laughs> pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Okay. No, that's true. It doesn't. Thank you for the information. <laughs> hey. Um, right way, didn't I? Um, okay, so in the middle of the cornfield, we have a desk and a chair. Uh huh. Um, English muffin. A new path has opened to you. Item you can use will be added to your inventory. Story items will be added to your folio. Uh, that was not something in space, I think. Well, I can't use that now, apparently. Uh, oh, now I have something. Welcome node. Oh, there's 75 notes. Wow. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Note to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. Um, okay. Uh, I do... I should just hit space again. Can I do anything with this thing? Can I eat this muffin? I don't know. Okay. What are you? Alright. Click. Yeah, I have an English muffin in my hand. Okay. This is. We'll be back in question mark minutes. Okay. Can I do anything with you? No. And nothing with the drawers. Okay. How do I eat my snack? Oh! E! Haha! <laughs> English muffin, hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try. All you've done is given yourself a headache. Um, okay, but I can't seem to drop it either. I guess we'll just bring it with us for now. Oh! Kind of felt like I wanted to jump. What is that thing over there? Okay, well, we uh, came from that side, right? Let's head in here. Press E to examine your equipped item. Yes, that's what we did. And if we close on how to use it. As I can see, I can't really do anything with it. I can't even eat it. Uh, okay, there's a house over there. Anything here? Mm. Looks like there's some kind of windmill or something this way. Mine the boxes. Uh, are these the boxes? Can I knock them over? No? Okay. Might be the boxes that we have to mind. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there's a house. 
Is this path also gonna be... Um... Oh! That's where we came from. Right. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there were boxes there. Ah. <laughs> Terrible short-time memory. Yeah. What was that? Okay. Uh, a drawing of a big door, I guess. Uh, very helpful with all these arrows. So that's how we get back to the big door if we should get luck. Ooh. Um, okay, you're pretty creepy. What is down here? For you. Broken shovel. Equip inventory items by using the scroll view or the one and two key. Huh. Okay. Mm. But no one wants to let me get over there. Because I need to mine the boxes. Oh, they did tell me. Um. Oh, mister. Oh, who you are. Anything else? No? No other paths? Let's go back to this house then and see if we can find something there. I wonder where they went. Hmm. There's a little change in the music there. Always. I'm putting. Mm. Okay. And that would lead to another block path, I guess. It looks like it. Yeah, more boxes. Okay, interesting. Check the outside. And I. Uh, Usually just do that when I play most games. Uh -huh. I think there's nothing there. Okay, nothing here. Lots of broken parts. Mm. Oh. Broken something. No. Crash. Like, someone has picked the left mouse button. Ah, uh, open chicken coop door. Almost always make, makes me feel like someone is gonna come and lock me up. Ooh, farmhouse key. Nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, but no chickens. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Can we people like to look close the door after us? Nope. Okay, no mind then. Can we use this? Nope. Hmm. Mm -mm. Don't really seem like there is anything else. Need anywhere. No matter how many times you <laughs> press it, the queue still does nothing. Okay, well, I have a, I haven't pressed it again. Um, okay, that's the outhouse. Gonna oh, a rusty nail jammed in a wall. Okay, can't do anything with it. No, interesting. <laughs> okay, mediocre work. This is a rug you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every way possible. Its name is Chauncey. Chauncey. Um, okay. <laughs> well, hello, Chauncey. Chauncey, Chauncey. And doesn't look like we can get it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go and check out the house then. Hmm. Can we get into the basement? I wonder. Hmm. Looks like it's kind of lit up. Probably. I have to take the fun entrance. Entrance. Okay, let's do that. Mm. Okay, so I guess swing. A porch swing. Mm, when you see the place icon, you can use an item. Um. All oh, right. Uh, oh, I left the key some. Quick! No? Ugh. I have to go and pick out a very back room. Hmm. Hmm. Like a, a globe? Something? No. Okay, what do you call it? It has a special name in English. I think some kids have in their rooms. Like an atlas. Uh, oh, an invoice for a carved wooden statue. Okay, this. Yeah. Look like there's anything else in here. Oh, that's you too. Okay, an invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large old oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down oak tree. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, better. Seriously? Oh, oh, oh. all right, I can't jump. Can I get over there? How do I get over there? Oh, there's a lamp. Light. Um, okay. A really boring mystery novel. Uh -huh. Anything else up here? Uh -huh. Anything over here? Mm, nope. Okay. Oh, let's uh, see. Okay, Night Danger, a McMurphy mystery. Mm, having no talent at this genre, uh, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's in identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Whoops. Um. <laughs> it's just. Oh, uh, seriously. Okay. Can I do anything with you? A grinder. A sausage grinder. Something is jammed inside. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, what did uh, hmm. Can I use the no? How can I get what is inside? Okay, I don't know. If we find something else we can use. Rancid on oil. Oh, you didn't want to tell me anything about that. Okay. Okay. No need to use that either. Mm. Anything up here? No. Oh. Food crate. Hmm. So not. No. Not telling me anything. Um. 
How did I get that to... Um, okay, I guess there isn't any information about the other stuff. An old sink. Can't do anything with that. Fast yeah. clock. Alright, okay, here's E. This particular plug fits perfectly into the bathroom sink on the first floor of the farmhouse. It is also a chalking plug, but due to a bad case of laryngitis, you'll never know that. Okay, uh, thank you for the information. Fruit crate. Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. Yeah, I can see it uh, looks a bit empty. Uh, rancid corn oil. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. Okay. <laughs> Broken shovel handle. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you wanted to tip something over. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you and would like to ruin its day. Okay. <laughs> this is just... Oh my, this is the weirdest game. Um Okay, well oh opened. Oh you nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only th two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. Yeah, they don't look um, like they're in a new and shiny condition anymore. Okay, but how do I... Something is jammed inside, so I, that's why I thought we could use the oil, but... It doesn't really seem like it wants to do anything. Huh? Yeah, no. Huh. As in now, it should just. No? No, you won't really do anything. Okay, never mind. How did I get all this to go away? I don't have anything in my hand. Okay, never mind. You won't do anything. Uh, let's see, anything in here we can use? Mm -hmm. That's not the... Nope. Uh, let's see to crouch. Uh, D again to not crouch, you can do this forever. Okay, a concealed switch. Unlock secret door, making it much less secret. Okay. Wonder where that secret door is. Oh. That was the secret door. And we also need to check out the first floor. Okay, well, this is gonna be uh, interesting. Uh, might be good, a good thing to have this broken handle. You could use it to knock someone down if they decide to jump at you. A fuse box, missing a fuse. Okay, so I might need to find a fuse somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where we came from, right? Mm. Mm, nothing in there. Anything here? 
rich in the basement. That also brings some old memories of movies to mind. I'm not really seeing anything down here besides that. Okay, oh, that leads to the outside. Open cellar doors. Okay, so far so good. We need to find a few somewhere, it seems. If we can... Oh, did I check this room? I did, didn't I? Kind of strange. It didn't seem like... It seems like there's light in this one. Huh. Just the color of it. There was no light bulb in it. pin. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point and didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. <laughs> okay. Placed here, yes. We have a box that might be placed there. Ah, and here is the wardrobe that we wanted to knock over. Okay, well, let's uh, uh, because it looked strangely or something at me. I'm not really seeing anything here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. That's all we can do. Okay. Oh. Uh, a fruit crate on the floor. And then we could use this one. Ah. Okay. Well, it means we can get up the stairs now, so that's a good thing. Mm hmm. If we can find any hidden treasures up here, let's go over there. There you go. toast. A burned lab report. Added to folio. Nice. Us up here. Do, 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 do. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, a mallet. Oh. And something we could put there. Mm. Okay, let's see. Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. Well, that's kind of true, actually. And then we got something in the folio. Much of it can, can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient cornstalks, and why did we do this? Okay, do I have that I can place there? Uh, oh, there's a bag, but I don't really... Nail clippers? No? Copy pin? No. No. 
I guess there's something we haven't found yet. Huh. Uh, okay, we can't go up there. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something we'll have to look around for next time. I don't really feel like there's anywhere else we could go here, was there? Hmm. anything. Yeah, but maybe we'll have to uh, look around them and see if we can uh, find whatever it was we missed. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, well, I hope I'll see you in the next episode and uh, you'll join me for uh, this very, very strange little adventure. And um, hopefully we're gonna meet some sentient corn. That's something um, I have never actually dreamed about doing, but it would be quite interesting, I'm sure. Um, but <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, please do take care, everyone. So happy gaming! <laughs>